Welcome to another edition of Official Insights, Modernizing Government, a series of interviews with government officials tasked with making services to the public more accessible and efficient. This series is presented by our partners at American Express. I'm Joe McKeating, your host with Grant Street Group. Joining me today is Hillsborough County, Florida tax collector, Nancy Meung. Nancy, welcome. Thank you, Joe, it's a pleasure to be here. We have so much to talk about today in terms of payments, this extraordinary year that we just had, which has really pushed technology forward and what your office is doing, but maybe a good place to start would be you explaining to viewers a little bit about the role that the Hillsborough County Tax Collector's Office plays in the community. Yes. Well, we serve over 1.5 million people in Hillsborough County, so we are an essential service. And essentially we are the funding engine of Hillsborough County where we collect and distribute over $2 billion a year. Um, so it's very vital to our community and, um, you know, having payment options obviously are um, extremely important to our constituents um, as we are also an essential service as we provide driver's license and motor vehicle registrations um, as well as collecting property taxes just to name a few. So when you talk about the Hillsborough County Tax Collector's Office being the funding engine maybe for some in the public what are some examples of what gets funded by the by the taxes that are collected? The property taxes collected funds taxing authorities, um, which funds schools, libraries, fire, water districts. So it's um, vital services um, that actually run our county. And how did this change in the past year at your office in terms of the responsibilities, the challenges? The transition to doing a lot, a lot of things digitally and remotely. Uh, we were certainly uh, faced with many challenges as we faced a pandemic and shutdowns, um, and had to think quick on our feet and essentially reinvent the way we conduct business in our offices. So, um, looking to provide more online. Um, options for our constituents was a high priority. Um, even being able to answer questions, uh, having a limited resource uh, employees to answer phones was an, one big challenge and finding alternatives such as AI and maybe using a chat bot to answer the most common questions was something that we looked at in addition to finding more ways to conduct business online with ha without having a person come into our office. And making that transition to doing things so digitally and, and the whole world adapting to this new reality, were there some advantages that you found once moving everything uh, digitally that maybe you didn't expect? Uh, it was a kind of a result of the challenge? Actually, you know, I, I, in our office, I always say these challenges brought a lot of opportunities where it forced folks to really look at the way we did business. And sometimes, you know, government is a little bit behind and there's some antiquated um, processes that were in place that really gave us an opportunity that we were forced to look and find new ways, which I always find, and, you know, innovation and taking advantage of technology right now that we were able to improve efficiencies within our office with less resources, but also provide um, convenience to our constituents, which is always a great thing. And sometimes when the, the, the technology catches up with the times, you have less touch points actually with the customers or with the end users. How do you ensure that those touch points you do have are still of the highest quality? Well, we are constantly monitoring and staying connected to the latest technology with our service providers and trying to find ways to make that ultimate customer experience um, easiest uh, uh, with simple, easy and secure ways of conducting business. And I just think the more folks um, are using these features, their more confidence and trust that they're going to have in government and our payment options. And then they're more apt to be more loyal to continue with us doing business without even having to go to the office. Um, you know, there's always a stigma of going to the DMV or our office and waiting. Well, if we continue with this trend and following technology, I think it's a win-win creating efficiencies for the office as well as convenience, which uh, in all reality, people have come to expect this type of service. They want that Amazon experience. And so our job is to keep up with that. Do you think that, uh, that that's going to be more expected 
by government? Is there that pressure, that motivation to make this a one click or two click? I know in Hillsborough County, this is definitely something that's a priority to me. Again, because I think it just offers and lends itself to the convenience of our constituents. The more that we can put in their hands um, and help them and walk them through a process, I think it, the better we'll be. Um, I believe using artificial intelligence and guiding them through a process where they actually come into their own account and uh, essentially a hub that has all of their, their information regarding their vehicles, regarding their driver's license, regarding property taxes, all in one convenient location. Um, I think that's a, a great thing that I think customers are coming to expect. That's what we talked about before with the Amazon experience. But how great would it be to be able to remind them that their, their driver's license is going to expire in a few months or their registration for their vehicle needs to be renewed and have it text to them, emailed, or using this again, AI intelligence to just put it out there for them and, and guide them through so that it makes it seamlessly um, for them and extremely convenient. It's all about convenience. And whether it's uh, opting in to, to text message notifications, uh, email reminders, uh, artificial intelligence, it sounds like maybe these are some initiatives that your office is actively working on. Yes. It is. We actually started, um, we're working closely with Grant Street right now in um, trying to upload documents and so that we have, again, it, a, a, an added step that they can do from the, the customers can do from the convenience of their home so that when they come into our offices, just a quick in and out and they are, they are happy and have their registration in their hand or their driver's license in their hand. Um, AI is also another key component that we've actually launched about a week ago. And that's going to, again, guide our customers through information and hopefully get them to a call to action where we can walk them through a complete tr a transaction right there um, while they're look seeking for information. And we keep going back to the theme of convenience. If a customer leaves your office, be it physical office or virtually an interaction, with your office, is that the biggest takeaway that you want them it to have? It is. When you talk about, um, we have 1.5 million residents in Hillsborough County. We see over a million people in our offices. Um, we have wait times. We have an, an appointment only service right now. And that was a result of the pandemic. So anything we can do to drive and change the behaviors of our constituents so for added convenience so that they don't have to take that time away from their busy day. Um, I am a proponent of that and I will continue to work um, with our vendors to ensure that we can provide the, that convenience and accessibility to every single person in Hillsborough County. And as the, the world in general, but also the world of technology was, was flipped on its head, uh, your office had to adapt, we had to adapt, yes. but also the public had to adapt. And have you received uh, feedback from your constituents uh, and, and incorporated that into your approach? Every day, um, we are really big on soliciting feedback and, and continuous improvement. And again, I think that's an, it's, it's really key in, in fine tuning whatever product we put out there. We wanna make sure that it's easy and simple. And the only way that you're gonna find that is by soliciting the feedback from your, your community and making sure that they're happy with that product. And obviously, if they're happy, then we're gonna be happy. <laughs> and back to some of the initiatives that, that your office uh, is working on or, or will be working on, are there, are there some, uh, some, some developments in the next year or few years that you're really excited about right now and the whole office is excited about? Yes, I'm really excited. Um, with the launch of our AI intelligence virtual agent, that is gonna help us immensely um, with the limited resources that we have on the call center. So hopefully that will alleviate some of that. But I also think that um, there's another feature we're working on with the uploads and um, being able to complete forms online and having it in a, re a secured repository where our people from the tax collector's office can then look at those, verify, say, yes, these are great, you're ready now, and then we can set an appointment and get them ready to, again, come in and out of the office. I think that's going to be huge in the future. Um, I think um, it's, again, we talk about efficiencies in our office. This is definitely going to 
uh, create a lot of efficiencies for our office as we continue to see more people moving into Hillsborough County and we have limited resources. So we have to be smarter in how we conduct business. And I think technology is the key. Do you see us getting to a place where we go, uh, like we talked about earlier, from six clicks to get to a checkout down to two, and then we can get to these options now where we have one click checkout. Do you see us getting to a future where it's almost all automated and you don't I'm even have to check I'm hoping so. Um, I really do hope that we can get to that point. Um, again, I think there are some transactions that will require um, our customer to come into the office, but um, imagine if we were able to cut that in half, what a pleasant experience without the wait, without having to make an appointment, but be able to come in, conduct your business and not have the frustrations of, that we currently see right now. <laughs> yeah, is there anything else going on payments related that, that you've observed in terms of trends that you're seeing or, well, or technology you'd like to I incorporate? Just, um, I would, there's so much I'd like to incorporate right now. I wish I could have it yesterday. Um, but again, when we're dealing with other government agencies and just uh, ensuring that we have everything lined up, um, there are some challenges. But I, again, I just think that um, that convenience to our constituents, always ensuring that their information is secured is of utmost importance. And the more that we work together and the more we collaborate, I think it's going to be a win-win for all of us. And working closely with our vendors with Grand Street has been great um, because they have the vision and they share the vision um, and see how this is going to really create um, just change the face of government and how we do business and um, that's bureaucratic. And again, empowering our customers to be able to do what they need to do from the convenience of our home is where we need to be. And that's my goal is create convenience um, and that trust and loyalty that um, we can change the perception of the tax collector's office as um, it currently is right now. <laughs> and kind of this dormant technology that's existed for a while, but only now is really taking off our QR codes. I was wondering if you had any thoughts on either what you're seeing personally or what your, the, some observations from your office about this technology, which has been around for well over a decade yes, now. Yes, but again, uh, with COVID and uh, you know, we've been faced with challenges, but this has been a great opportunity to bring that QR code back. And I'm really excited because um, one of the things that we're, I'm glad you brought that up because on our tax notices, just being able to have that QR code um, on that notice and have the customer scan it and it go directly to their account. I think that's gonna be, uh, huge and when you can drive them just to that call to action where they're able to pay um, right then and there, um, I think that is going to prove to be um, one that we'll see our online transactions. I think it'll we'll see an uptick in that. But again, because we're adding convenience where they, the customer doesn't have to go look for a PIN number, the customer doesn't have to type in things. The more convenience that we can add at their fingertips and just guide them to that complete, uh, that final transaction where they can just say, yes, I wanna pay for this. I think that's gonna be really, really exciting. And I, I think that's gonna to prove to be a, a really um, setting the standard for how we provide uh, services to our constituents. Yeah, well, one of the reasons I think QR codes is an interesting example is because it's not a new technology. Yeah, it's and it's, it's this thing that's been around for a long time, but it took, and I think really driven by the public, uh, driven by restaurants during COVID where all the menus were QR codes. So is this technology that had been around and then we get to this point where it's just ubiquitous, everybody's using it. So how do you create an environment at your office where uh, people can identify opportunities, whether they incorporate new technology or technology that's been around for a while? Hmm, that's a good question. I think, again, soliciting the feedback, not only from our community, but from our, our employees and um, going to, to conferences and working closely with our vendors, I think that we can really uncover some opportunities that um, will provide that convenience and using a QR code with um, and showing the advantages uh, and and sharing some of those success stories, I think will go a long way. For customers who would 
maybe in the past come into an office are now fine doing things virtually, but how do you ensure that they still come away from that experience feeling like in some way they had that human touch? Um, that's because we, we put a lot of emphasis on the and our customer service excellence and how we provide service, being responsive, being immediate with our, our um, interactions with that customer and showing the same empathy and compassion to those online as we do in person. And actually, I just thought about this going back to uh, technologies that aren't necessarily new, but that I do know that Hillsborough is employing in a great way. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what you're doing with email, something that people have said is going to go away forever. Even Slack was supposed to uh, replace email, of course it's well, not. Email is um, a tool that we use just to keep in constant communication with our customers, uh, reminding them that they have a payment, reminding them that they have an appointment, I think is key. Keeping that constant communication with them, letting them know that we're here for you, we're guiding you through this process and wanna make it simple as possible. Um, in the future, I'm hoping that I can be able to send that same email as a text format so that at when you know you're out and about with your phone everybody is very dependent on that phone and so being able to communicate with them and again guiding them through so that we can make that process as easy and as convenient as possible so Nancy to wrap up the conversation is there anything in the works at the Hillsborough County Tax Collector's Office that you'd like to share with the public anything coming up in the next year two years well I think um, with all the new technology and innovation is providing essential services online is going to be the future and working with Grand Street and innovation and providing these services, whether it be online or in person, is going to be something that's really exciting. And if we can bring in other government agencies to work with us, I think that um, the tax collector's office and the constituents are really going to um, be able to get to a place where we are uh, showcasing government and having that ultimate Amazon experience. Absolutely. Well, Nancy, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this episode of Official Insights, Modernizing Government. Thank you, Joe. It was a pleasure.